Political analyst Kanyema Gobane joins us now to further unpack these latest developments in the city of Tswane, following, of course, that removal of DA's Celia Brink as the city mayor. Kanye, thank you so much for joining us. A very good afternoon to you. So, Celia Brink removed as mayor of Tswane City. Quite a torrent of emotional reactions uh, by various members of the DA, basically putting the blame uh, squarely, Kanye, at Mashaba's feet, saying that I'm sure you've just heard uh, Mr. Brink as well. Uh, he was uh, just using uh, his uh, ace against them. So what are some of your uh, sentiments in this whole debacle? Um, I thank you. Your, your line broke up at some places, so I hope that I will uh, capture your question um, clearly. I think this is definitely a watershed moment in uh, provincial politics. Uh, the city of Tswane has for the longest time been at the center of many political battles. I think since uh, Sputla Rama uh, uh, was uh, last the mayor, we've seen so many mayors come and go subsequently to that. And when Celia's Brink became the new mayor under the DA, there was a, a type of a sense that uh, what had happened on national level, on the GNU level, would permeate, you know, to lower levels of government and that there would be a greater understanding that the DA would remain in um, in the mayor's position. And now, interestingly enough, the DA is crying that a properly functional city of Tswane has now been plunged into chaos because of um, the actions of of Action SA, which I find quite interesting because up until they became, um, you know, in the mayorship uh, position, the city of Tswane has always been built as dysfunctional, as um, needing a, a rehaul of, of, of members of leadership and political will. And so now that the DA is out of power, of course, they're blaming Mashaba, they're blaming the ANC, they're blaming the EFF to say that they've now turned a properly functional municipality into chaos. So the question is, do municipalities only function when they are under the leadership of the Democratic Alliance? Of course, we heard Tike Niza um, and uh, Mashaba say that they have the capability to rule and run the city of Tswane effectively without the DA. Mm, just on that point, Kanye, look, uh, Mayor Brink has had his fair share of uh, various challenges while in office with an exorbitant fruitless expenditure bill as well as widespread accusations, especially from uh, the black majority residents in townships who have accused the DA, in fact, of not providing services to all residents except uh, certain elite areas uh, since they started governing over uh, 10 years ago. So what do you think the city needs in terms of governance in order? order to ensure proper as well as equal service delivery to all residents and not just in Tswane but everywhere else. I think that the city needs a multi-pronged strategy. You need a CBD strategy to deal with issues of um, drugs and gangsterism in areas like uh, Pretoria, Sunnyside, the CBD. You need a township strategy. You need a suburban strategy. You need um, a strategy on water and delivery of services. And I think that the time has come for political parties to start rising above petty party politics and start putting the people of Tswane first and bringing not only services to the people of Tswane, but political stability as well. And I think what has happened in Tswane has um, shined the spotlight on the need to expedite um, the development of a legislative framework uh, within the municipal level that will include um, coalitions and how coalitions are run. We need long-term strategies. We need uh, laws that enable us to lock political parties into arrangements that can last a year or two or three or even the full five terms or five years of a term. What's happening now is clear that uh, South Africa since 2016 has yet um, to, to, to really uh, rein in the instability that's happening in the municipal levels because of uh, coalitions and poorly developed legislation in that regard.
You know, Kanye, let's go back uh, and backtrack a little bit. I'm not sure if you heard that whole clip uh, with uh, Mayor Celia's, well, now the former mayor, uh, Celia's Brink, they say, uh, saying that uh, they are, of course, opting to talk to the ANC and try to reconvince them, uh, if there's such a word, uh, to get back into bed, uh, so to speak, with them pertaining, uh, the, of course, uh, the city of Tuan uh, in alliance with their GNU partners. But have you ever heard of such? And do do you think if this actually does go ahead, it has any chances of any success? Well, I think that the GNU is quite invested to have um, the GPU and the GLU, as we've heard, you know, the government of provincial unity and the government of local unity. I think the broader plan is to have um, those type of arrangements um, existing at all spheres of government. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Mashaba is back out in the cold uh, in, the, in the near future with the ANC choosing to go into bed with the Democratic Alliance in line with um, the spirit of the GNU. I think that the two political parties in line with other minor players might try to intervene in the city of Tswane to actually kick out um, the, the, the action um, essays uh, because, you know, of course, we know Mashaba goes where he sees an opportunity. And so there are no permanent friends and no permanent enemies in politics. And that's what makes it so difficult to properly gauge what happens in the future. Because just as we think things are going in one direction, they suddenly change into another. Mm, and speaking of those uh, timelines, uh, Kanye, you know, the city has just 14 uh, days to install a new mayor. Tongues are wagging as to who might just descend to this position with speculation rife that is going to be, of course, between the ANC and the Action SA candidates. So what are the possible scenarios and options uh, that the residents of Tswane have, you think? Well, we've heard uh, Herman Mashaba talking about Dr. Nasi Pimoyo coming in um, as the mayor. He claims that her candidate, uh, candidateship has been supported by the other coalition parties. Um, I'm not sure who the ANC may probably put in, in that position. I, I don't think a Tikeniza would uh, resonate with the residents of Swane. I think whoever comes in has to have, you know, a history and a type of um, history with the people and heritage in the city of Tuane. And, and I think that's what's going to give people the confidence. Because to be honest, I think the city's uh, residents are beyond party politics. I don't think people still really care which political party is in power. People want services beyond uh, party politics. So I think that the city of Tuane needs to understand that the people of Tuane want services. They want a functional city, whether it's under the DA, the ANC, or the action is a i think people right now are at that point where they don't really care mm, absolutely can you thank you so much for your wise insights this afternoon miss kanye magubane the political analyst on of course the removal of the city of twine mayor through a motion of no confidence vote yesterday mr silius brink